Good morning, everybody. I'm not awake yet. This, uh, not what I expected to be doing this morning. Check this truck over real quick, make sure we're good. So, I had a load book. I'm sitting 25 miles from where my load was that I had booked. And last night at 6 p.m., it's like about six o'clock in the afternoon, the, uh, the company I got that load from called me and <clears throat> told me that uh, the customer decided not to ship that load today. So I had to kind of scramble. I got real lucky. I had to scramble a little bit and find a load at six o'clock at night, which <laughs> that's, that's where the luck came in. Um, found a load at six o'clock at night down in Baltimore. So. Looks good here. Looks good, lights are working. Third signal's working. Flashers are flashing. Headlights are headlightning. Alright, I'll be right back and we'll talk about how this ended up this way. <laughs> right back. Yeah. We ride across these plains and prairies, rocky mountain highs, fade off into the distance like ghost riders in the sky. Black smoke and white wine, still horses side. All right, all right, here we go. Back on the road, <clears throat> scale was closed. There's a scale right when you get on the highway, right where you get back, back on 78 there. Um, scale was closed this morning, which is a good thing because I don't think I've had enough coffee for that yet. So uh, I started to say in the pre-trip that uh, while I was doing my pre-trip that I had a load booked out of Chester, New Jersey, which I was, I booked it yesterday got delivered yesterday afternoon, ran up about an hour toward Chester. Chester is about an hour and a half from my delivery. I ran up an hour toward Chester, stopped at that TA back there, got fuel and whatnot. And I was 
I'm having a pretty relaxed evening. Got my shower. And as I was coming out of my shower, I got a call from the agent that I booked the load out of Chester from that said that his customer just called him and canceled it. So this is about 6, 6.30 last night. Uh, they canceled the load on me. So I was sitting 25 miles from Chester. So I scrambled a little bit, started looking. Didn't think I was gonna be able to book anything because it was 6.30 at night. But uh, I got lucky and I found a load from a different agent out of Baltimore that uh, picks up today. So I am, and it, I got real lucky because it's a legal load as well. It's not oversized or anything. So I can just run down, snatch it up. It's pretty light. I think it's, uh, I think it listed as 20, 26,000, 27,000, just a little excavator. Going to East Dundee, Illinois. And we're gonna run down to Baltimore here and snatch that up. And it's uh, currently 5.15 in the morning. What I thought I was gonna be doing was getting up about seven o'clock, getting out of the truck stop about 7.30, go to my, my customer about eight o'clock, get loaded and head home. And unfortunately, that's not how that's not how it worked out last night. So <clears throat> here I am, got about a two and a half hour trek down to Baltimore. The bad part about this is I got Philadelphia right in between me and Baltimore. So I'm trying to, uh, the reason I left this early, I'm trying to get down through Philadelphia before uh, before traffic gets stupid because uh, we, we know, anybody that goes through Philly knows that it. it's, uh, it can be, it can be bad. So see what happens. Talk to you soon.
port here. Thought I was getting a single excavator, but it turns out that uh, there was a little bit better of a load. So we're getting three minis instead of one big one. Uh, we're gonna get three little ones for two stops. A little bit better, a uh, little bit better situation. So we took this one. So went and checked in. <coughs> went over and saw the guys on the other side of the, the check-in, and they told me that the uh, all of my units are in uh, row F. Spot number three, so we're gonna go find them here pretty quick. As soon as I take them, it is hot out. Can't get out of this heat, so I'm gonna take this extra shirt off. We will go find our load. These are our babies right here, all three of these. This is a new one. The excavators is not what we're getting. We're getting three little mini rollers. This one right here, 9400954. That's 954, that's one of them. And I think this one here is one of our other ones. Zero, 0955. Zero, 0955. Matches our paperwork. And I think this one right here is the last one. 0776. Is that 0776. This is a new one. <laughs> uh, this ought to be interesting to get these things up on my trailer, given the space on the front, but I'll get it figured out. So here we go. I drop my trailer and get this done. Talk to you in a bit. I got them loaded up. This one's a little bit tricky. They, uh, because of the front of my trailer, those rollers there, those hard rollers don't want to go up the front of this trailer. So what I had to do is take my outrigger boards and make a couple ramps to be able to get these things up on. So now I'm gonna put these outrigger boards down, chain these things down, we're gonna get out of here. Talk to y'all soon. All secured down. Um, took me a little bit. Not because of the experiment, but because uh, there's another guy here that just came up, Mr. Cody. Um, super cool guy, real nice guy. He uh, he came up and he said, man, I didn't know we loaded ourselves. I said, yeah, we're supposed to. And he said, uh, I've never drove one before. And what I like about Cody and what I like about that situation there is I, I had said to Cody, I said, hey, let me get my stuff loaded up here and then I'll pull over there and I'll put it on for you. And he said, well, you know, I don't really want you to put it on for me. I, I, I wanna know how to do it. I wanna learn how to do it. And that I respect. Big time respect, Cody. I, I appreciate you saying that, and it, it, it's it's great for the channel, and it's, it's great for me. I, I, I very much enjoy that, so I appreciate you saying that, and 
it was great to go over and, uh, and give Cody a hand. Showed him how to work, run an operator or uh, operate a excavator. Showed him what sticks do. It's pretty simple, you know. He didn't he didn't know anything about it. So to someone who doesn't know, it's not simple. But once you do it, it is kind of simple. So he uh, he put that thing up on there by himself. I'm proud of him. He did a great job. Put that thing up on there by himself. He's securing it down now, and I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out and cover my securement, and I'll probably walk over and say hi to him and uh, and get him on the channel. So here we go, you guys. This this is a goofy one. Um, little little tricky putting them on as you saw and it was also uh, a little tricky securing them too and keeping it from scratching the paint so here's what we got man it is another hot day hot hot my truck only says it's 86 degrees but it, the humidity must be super high so I'm sweating like crazy putting this stuff on so here's what we got Securement was a little bit tricky on these things. These articulate in the center. So they're just like any articulating unit. You gotta have the pin in. And in this case, this is the pin right here. This pin just slides down in. Put a pin in the bottom. So I put the pin in and then the, the, to tie these down without scratching them, there was a couple different ways to do it. This back one, because I had a D-ring right there, I just looped my chain through one chain on this side, get half credit for that chain one binder on that one this one i had to do different because there's no d-ring down here for me to loop through so i had to make the hook ends go into the trailer so i just did my loop up here made sure i stayed away from the paint keep from scratching it brought it on this side and down put binder in the middle ended up doing though that with this side with the, the back one as well i got forward and backward movement also downward pressure half credit for this chain pins are in so these things only weigh <laughs> these things only weigh 3,300 pounds each. So I think I'm, I'm probably overkilling securement having two chains on it. So um, I think we're plenty good. A couple things you got to think about with these is uh, I did securement on this side the same way. You saw me verify the serial numbers earlier, so we know what the, the, we know those were good. The, the tricky thing there is. <laughs> These are going three different locations. So you gotta make sure when you're when you're self-loading like I did, make sure you get them in the right order. <laughs> Cause that that will be no fun at all. Especially with these, as difficult as it was to get them up on the trailer. So uh, I made sure that I had the correct serial number going in the in the correct place. So the the one on the front of the trailer, you the first one you put on the trailer, which goes all the way to the back, will be the last stop. So seems elementary, but you <laughs> be amazed how many times you screw that up when you're when you're not really thinking about it so make sure these are good now one thing i want to do with these is i want to find a tag or something so i can pull the keys out of these things because i don't think they're going to stay there going down the road but i want them to be to keyed to their unit so i don't have to search through them so i got to figure out how i'm going to do that but other than that we're uh we're ready to go with our cute little tiny little asphalt rollers there's mr cody right there that's the excavator we helped him put on nice looking unit 320 gc cody's getting his stuff out right now what's up cody i was just talking about you hey how are you doing say hi to everybody hey everybody so I just uh, I just told him that uh, I helped you put this thing on. That what I and I mentioned on there. You have to watch it. I mentioned on there that um, mm -hmm. the one thing that I liked about um, what you said was that you wanted to learn how to do it. That's both yep. of us. Uh, most people would have said, "Can you just do it for me?" Exactly. And I love the fact that you said, "Hey, I, I want to do it. Like, well, can you show me how to do I it?" I like to learn. I like to learn how to do things. This right. Way when I'm out there, I can learn how to do it myself. And Heck maybe yeah. someday I can learn how to show somebody else how to do Heck it. Heck yeah, man! That's Pass how I along. did it. Yeah, that's exactly how I did it. All right, brother. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. It was good meeting you. Yeah, for sure. Certainly good. Hopefully, we'll see each other again, man. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully stay in touch. This channel is called Cody Austin Official, so you check him out too. Well, that's it. I got my paperwork and I am out of here. Time to go home for the weekend.